Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this twiggy tunic. This was a part of my cotton crochet series that I have done on the blog and I'll have the link to this full written pattern in the um, subscription, not the subscription, the description. I always do that box down below. Um, so really all I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how to get this front panel stitch right here and then I'm also going to explain how to get your head hole like where you would stick your head through and then also to the arms uh, right here and then the back is just a real simple stitch so I'm going to show you how to do that how to assemble it and everything in this tutorial okay so first what I'm going to do is just show you how to do that front stitch section, okay? And this is really, really simple, really easy, um, not hard, not difficult at all. Um, the shirt is going to work up in a multiple of three, but for the sake of this tutorial, I um, have done just a small thing for my actual tunic. Obviously, I did a much larger number. But for just this tutorial, this is just a multiple of three, really simple, really easy, and um, something that you can do uh, just real quick. So I'm going to zoom you in really quickly. So you're going to start by doing your foundation chain in a multiple of three, and then in your third chain from the hook, you're going to half double crochet your way back across. And so we're going to pretend that this row here is that foundation row. And so what you would do is you would chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to turn your work. Skipping these next two stitches, you're going to insert your hook and do a double crochet. And this is what's going to give us this kind of like little boxed look if you will okay so then we're going to uh, chain two skip the next two stitches add a double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the next two stitches add a double crochet like that chain two skip the next two stitches, add a double crochet, and you just continue this all the way across your piece. Very, very simple. And by doing the multiples of three, you should end uh, just like this with um, the double crochet at the end, like that. Okay, and then you're going to chain two and turn your work. So then in these little windows or these boxes, you're going to add a double crochet. So you will put two double crochet into the window boxes. Then you will double crochet into that uh, stitch right there. Add Two more double crochet into the next window. And then a double crochet into the previous double crochet. And you just continue like this all the way across, just like so. Really simple, really easy. Now, for the Twiggy Tunic pattern, you're going to do this all the way up the front panel. Now the Twiggy Tunic is made in a solid piece, so it's not two panels that you sew together. It's made in one solid piece, and the reason that I did this was because garment patterns can oftentimes be extremely intimidating, and so I was wanting to create something that any body size could easily make for themselves. So if you're smaller, if you're bigger, all you would basically have to do is measure um, from like the breastbone down to however 
uh, long you want your piece to be. And so um, looking at this drawing that I have done. So your tunic piece is basically going to be measured from about right here to as far down as you want it to go. So if you want it to be more like a tunic and you want it to go like past your waistline right here and you want it to kind of like cover a little bit more um, or if you even wanted it to be a crop top, you could do it like that. I mean, it's really up to you. You have that creative freedom. So you're going to make this pattern um, the length of your front part, okay? So when you get here to this neck part, and I've kind of made it like a boat neck, so it's really, really simple to do. I'll give you an example here. So let's say, let's say this is like for a Barbie doll. Okay, so I need to create the neck section. So what I'm gonna do, since the back panel of the piece is worked in half double crochets, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chain two, I'm gonna turn the work, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this section um, right here, the shoulder piece. So however long you want that piece to be, mine actually drapes just a tad over the actual shoulder, but I don't have very broad shoulders. I kind of have, I don't know, I guess, shrunken shoulders or short shoulders. And so mine wasn't very long, so I, I measured mine um, just the width that I wanted it to be. So for the sake of this tutorial, just to show you how to create that neck piece, um, you're gonna do, you're gonna chain two and then half double crochet, okay? And here we are, this is creating that shoulder piece. We're half double crocheting like this, okay? And what you wanna do is, the good thing would be to measure your piece so that you're squared off um, in the center right here because you don't want like too much shoulder on this side and then this big giant gap and then like uh, Just a little bit of shoulder on this side So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're paying attention like here's the extent of the math You just want to make sure that your head hole is perfectly even okay, so I've got one two three four I'm gonna do five Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my head hole, but I also know that I want to have five on this side. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so then I'm gonna skip the same amount of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to continue on with my half double crochets into the remaining stitches to create that other shoulder piece. Okay, so is this making sense? If not, I'll just recap really quickly. So basically what we're doing is we've made You've made your front panel, okay? So now what we're doing is we're creating these shoulder sides and the hole where our head is gonna go. Now, I have a slightly larger head, so I kind of made my head hole a little bit larger and my shoulder piece is a little bit larger. Um, I'm sorry, smaller. And again, this is one reason why I designed the Twiggy Tunic like this is because I wanted you to be able to customize it as easily as possible. So here's your head hole. So now this is how we're going to, so now we've transitioned into the back panel. So the back panel is just simply half double crochets. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna do half double crochets all the way down like this, okay? And you're just going to, I've got alarms going off. You're just gonna continue with the half double crochets and just make sure you don't add any extras. You're gonna continue with the half double crochets in the head hole like this, all the way across really easily. And again, just make sure that you're not adding any extras or anything like that. And just going all the way across. It's a little hard to get it into the right slot, but don't worry about it. 
just keep working with it and you're going to get it. So this is like, honestly, this is the most challenging part. So then once you're through that head hole, um, you just continue with the half double crochets all the way across. And again, since the back panel is made up of just half double crochets, um, you're just going to, for the remainder of the piece, you'll just chain two, turn your work, and continue just with half double crochets. And what I did was I would just like fold my piece over and just keep measuring to make sure it was the same length. And then once it got even, then I uh, made a measurement for my uh the uh, holes, I'm sorry, the holes uh, where my arms were gonna poke through. So measuring your armholes, again, this is where the customization comes into play. If you look at the tunic that I made, um, so basically what I did was I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? I counted six um, squares from where I wanted my tunic to measure and I wanted to make sure since since I wanted it to be more loose and almost kind of like a bohemian modernish type of feel um, I wanted my armhole to be a little bit larger than like what a normal armhole would be but I didn't want it to like come really far down where like you could see my bra or anything like that and obviously um, you have to wear something underneath this because of the openness of the stitch but it would be perfect to like throw over a bathing suit with like some shorts or if you wanted to just do a tank top, which is how um, I've worn it. Um, but yeah, like once you get the whole front panel made and then you get your back panel made, just simply measuring yourself and just seeing. And honestly, because it's one piece, it's so easy to try on like as you're going where you could be like, oh, I want it a little longer or uh, I want it a little shorter or whatever, you know, like it's really easy to adjust as you're going along. And so once you get your two pieces made, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a darning needle or a tapestry needle or whatever it is that you use to sew and weave in your ends. And you're just gonna simply do um, just a stitch, uh, just across an invisible seam stitch. I mean, you can't even tell, I haven't uh, woven in my ends yet. But um, yeah, it was super simple. And I used Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, and I only used four balls. Um, and I still have some left over that I plan to use on another project. But honestly, this piece is so easy to make. It took me probably in total, I did it over the course of two days, and it took me total like maybe four and a half hours. Um, and that's because it's just so simple. It's the simple stitch in the front, which is like, super easy and you don't have to keep counting I mean you can make your whole front panel because you work it from the bottom over to this other side um, so really in essence your piece is like this uh, it's made like this okay and then you have your head hole um, right in the center that's how it makes you start from here you work all the way up until you get to the head hole part then you create your head hole which is what I showed you and then you just continue down and then when you're done the piece you know winds up being something like this um, with armholes kind of in the side like that and um, yeah super easy super simple to make and again, like I said, down in the description box, I am gonna have the link to the written pattern for this. And like, so I'm a size um, 10 jeans. So I'm kind of like, depending on where you're shopping, I'm like a large or extra large up top. And I made this kind of loose. So if you are that size or you're around that size, um, you will be able to make exactly what I made and it will fit perfectly. But yeah, this is, uh, the stitch pattern for making the front panel of the twiggy tunic and then just the assembly and the basic math behind it and if anything I have said is confusing please just comment down below and I will do my absolute best to help you kind of like work through any issues you might be having but again I really don't think that you're gonna have any problems I really tried to make sure that um, I was very simple in the design of this pattern and I wanted to make sure that it was easy to understand, easy to comprehend, and all of that. And so please like and subscribe to my channel and like this video. 
and that way you can get updates and everything for new videos that are coming. You can also follow me all over social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Yarnhook Needles. You can also subscribe and visit my website at yarnhookneedles.com and you can also check out my Etsy shop which is Yarnhook Needles. And I hope you make a twiggy tunic of your own and that you love it. And I hope to see you in the next video.